Hi everybody, I'm making a tutorial for the first time ever on how to make a Discord bot. So, I'm going to do three different things in this tutorial. First, I'm going to give you some background information so that way you can understand what exactly is going on. Next, I'm going to actually code the bot and you can follow along on your own computer. And lastly, I'm going to add some more information to your knowledge base so that you can potentially add more things to your bot and make it very exciting. So, first things first, here's some background that is very, very high level and not super detailed. So the internet is a giant network of computers that communicate communicate with each other all the time and it's a little like they're sending emails to each other so they have two lines which is like the two mm, so and so email address and that's all http or a protocol so that way we know where to send the messages and what exactly these messages are about so it's a little bit like the subject line and the two line in an email and then in the body we have to include specific information so that we know that the server on the other end can handle our message and what exactly do we send what kind of information do I have to send to the server to make it do what I want it to? We look at the documentation for the application programming interface. And what this means for us is we go to Discord's developer docs and we look at the API documentation. So this is all very complicated and I don't actually understand all of it. But basically, you send information to Discord servers using a specific URL and you include certain things in the body and it will do different things for you. But this is very complicated, and luckily for us, there are a bunch of wonderful people out there, open source developers, who created all these different libraries for us to use. So you install this library in your computer, and then you can very easily create your own client for this uh, Discord server application. There are lots of different languages here. I happen to be partial to JavaScript, so I'll be using Discord.js. This is a package for Node, and Node is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's VA JavaScript engine. Basically, if you run this program on your computer, it'll run programs that you've written in JavaScript on your computer for you. And with this program, when you download it here, you'll get this other thing called NPM, or not this, it's actually Node Package Manager. So you can add things like that discord.js from before, from this library here. And quickly, I just want to tell you about this model here. So Discord servers, are receiving information all the time, different messages from people all over the world, and it'll forward these to your bot. And your bot has to be run by a server, kind of, but we call it a client over here. So your client, your computer will become a client in just a moment that handles the bot, and it'll, make, it'll control the bot. And then the server will receive messages from your client, and then it'll send it off to the users, which is people like us who actually chat with these bots. Okay, so at this point, we're going to actually create the bot. Here we go. So. First things first, we're going to make sure that Discord servers are listening, because this is a two-way process. The Discord servers have to do stuff, and we have to do stuff. So we'll have Discord here. I have created a new server for me to test in. And over here, I have open Discord My Apps. You can find the link below. So I'm going to create a new app. I'm going to name it Hello World Bot. And hi there. And let us scroll over or not. <laughs> creating the application and in this application we're going to create a bot user yes i would like to create a bot user so this right here is the client id and this will be important in just a moment so right below in the links there should be a url that has something like this it's like discord app auth to authorize client id and then change me you're going to put that number in there instead and that will be a um that will instead link it to your bot because this is the client id so once this loads, you're going to add your bot to the server. And this should look like adding a, any old regular bot. So we're going to authorize this here. And you'll notice that over here in Discord, pop in popped this little bot. Hey, buddy. But he's offline. This is because our client isn't actually running anything. Our computer doesn't have anything backing up this robot right now, which means it's not going to do anything. Um, this URL, by the way, came from the Discord developer docs over here. I looked up um, OAuth2 and then bots. And then it was in there somewhere. That's where you get that. Adding bots to get yeah, adding bots to guild. Okay, so now we have our bot in our server, but we have to make the engine behind it. So we're going to create a folder somewhere on your computer where you would like to save all this information. I happen to have this folder right here, and then we're going to use the command prompt. If you are on a Mac or a Linux, you can very easily open this using the terminal, but if you're on Windows like me, pressing the Windows key R opens a little dialog that asks, please run something. You type CMD for command, press enter, and it'll open up this nice black terminal here. Okay, and now I'm in this folder right here, the C users Emily. Using CD will change directories. Pressing dot dot enter will bring you down a directory. 
but I would like to go up here. Oops, no, that's not what I want. Documents, documents. I'm pressing tab will change whichever one it's looking at. Hello world, Discord bot. Okay, once you have navigated to the, director, the directory that you want to be in using CD, you can verify that you're here if you want by pressing dir in Windows or ls in Linux or Mac, and that will list all the files in the directory. So ls for list and dir for directory because Windows and Mac have different things. And you can see that this folder right here, I created a little folder here so you could quickly see that we are in the same place in fact. Right now we're going to start using npm and node. To make sure that node is installed, you can do node dash dash version. And I'll just pop back with a number. So first things first, we're going to run npm, the package manager, init for initialize. This will take a moment, but what this will do is load a series of prompts so that we can create a package file so that way we can download files very easily and share this stuff with other users. Um, this shouldn't take much longer. <laughs> okay, so here's the name of this. It can't contain capital letters, so I'm gonna call this hello bot. And then I'm just going to press enter for the rest of this because I don't mind having empty strings. This is just for demonstration, but feel free to fill these in with all different things. Okay, so this is the package file to create, and yes, this is fine. So now I have in my folder here, if I look over here, I can see that I now have this package JSON file. So you'll remember that this right here had a main index.js. You see that right there? So we're going to have to create that file so that way Node knows what to run. Okay, so let's open up a file editor. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to create a new file, and I'm going to do Control Alt S because this is Notepad plus plus. Any Notepad or any text editor will work just fine here. So I'm going to save this as index.js. Okay, so remember that we're going to use Discord.js. So we're going to need to install this package. So run npm install dash dash save discord.js this will take a while um what's happening right now is it is installing the entire package that open source developers created so that way we have abstracted away all that internet connection stuff that's really complicated so this will take a moment to add itself but it should download in just a moment all right now we have, in here, you'll notice that there are some node modules now. If you click in here, you can see that a whole bunch of different packages were downloaded, so that way that dis so that way discord.js could um, access everything it needs. So lots of files came down with that install right there. And over here, we have index.js. So on the web page for, um, oops, 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 wrong, wrong page, excuse me. Uh, on the web page for discord.js, both in its documentation and on the website where the project is hosted on GitHub, you'll notice that there's an example usage here. We're gonna copy paste this, whoop, copy paste that into index.js. And yes, this has been modified, okay. All right, so in here we have this at the very bottom, client.login your token. So over here in Discord developer bots where your bot was created, we're going to scroll down and find, where is it? Oh, oh gosh, it's right there, excuse me, the bot. And this right here, this really long number, mind you, I'm gonna delete this afterwards, so don't worry, it won't be here. Um, this token right here, we're gonna copy paste that into our index.js file, just like that. And then we'll save it, and in our terminal, we'll type node index.js. And I'm gonna pull up this before I press the enter key so you can see the bot come online. Bing, bing! So now it's ready. And in the code here, let's take a look at real quick at what this actually does. Um, what it does is it says when the client is ready, I'm going to log in the console, I am ready, and it has already done that, so the bot is ready, Oh, And then when a message is sent, if the content of the message is ping, I'll reply pong. So let's try that over here. Let's close that, and let's type ping. And you see that the bot replies with pong. So what happened here is I sent a message, Discord server sent it over to my computer over here that's running this node program, and my node program said, all right, this is what I want you to do, and it replied to no Discord servers, and then it came out over here. All right, and that concludes how you make a Discord, a very basic Discord bot. Now I'm gonna talk about some extra things you can do to potentially extend this bot. Here goes. So 
Over here we have a JavaScript tutorial. You'll need to know more JavaScript if you choose to continue with Node.js, but there are other languages you can use if you so desire. If you do choose JavaScript, at some point I think you should read this post about callback functions and how they're used. Hiroku is a deployment website where a bunch of servers are running at all times and you can use a little bit of their space. So you could potentially upload your bot onto the server so you don't have to have your computer on at all times for your bot to be online. It'll just be online running from their servers. Over here we have discord.js and this is the documentation for the oh, for that package that we downloaded earlier. So if you click for example on documentation and then you find message and you click on message. Remember how over here in the code it says message and then message.content and message.reply? How do you know what you can do with these messages? This message thing here has all these different properties and then it has all these different methods you can do. And here's what they all are with different descriptions. So this is the documentation that you can use. Over here, when you added your bot to your website or to your server, when you had that URL at the very end, if you recall, there was a URL um, excuse me, right here, there was a permissions equals zero. If you change that to a number using one of the, using a bunch of um, ands with all these different numbers here, you can change what permissions it will ask for as you enter the server. So that way your bot can kick people, manage names, change names, all that good stuff. Over here we have the top free seven, or the top seven free open source database solutions. Right now that server that you have running, if you have any variables that are created in that node program, they'll be deleted every time that that program stops. So if you want ha to have persistent memory, you either need to save to your file system or have a database, which will also probably save to your file system. But anyway, definitely look into using a database or learning how to save files to your computer using Node.js. Definitely look at, at uh, NPM for file managers. Okay. Um, over here, here's a quick tutorial on how to um, structure a node project if you'd like to build bots with other people. This is npm, so like before, we can look up file, manager, whatever. Um, and there are lo lots of things that will come up, or file editor or something, file edit, or something like that. But anyway, here you can look at all these different files. And npm will let you install those packages like before. The npm install dash dash save and the name of the package will bring down different packages so you can call lots of different things very easily. Over here we have, um, ooh, we have a free robot that I found on this website here. So, or not free, an open source robot, excuse me. It's also free, but it's open source. This website here has a bunch of different robots and if you see the open source tag, you can click on it and look at the source for that robot and see exactly how they implemented it. It may not be in JavaScript, but the logic should be roughly the same. Over here we have Gravebot, which happens to be a robot that I think is very well implemented and very well structured. So if you want to take a look over here to see a very well done robot, I was just taking a peek over here. And that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have managed to make a Discord bot. Please leave any comments below that you have about my video and thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like. Thanks!